So now we're going to talk about a, a new topic called the pigeonhole principle. And so I'm just going to kind of state what I think the, the idea here is. So the idea is if you have, so you have pigeons and you have holes for them to go in. And so if you have more pigeons than holes, then at least two pigeons are put in the same hole. So if you have more objects than you have holes or to put them in, then at least two of those objects have to go in the same hole. So if we look, your book had a had a really good picture of what's going on. So let's look at this figure here. On the left, if you look, you have five pigeons, but you only have four shelves or four holes for them to go into. And so on one of at least one of them, there has to be two pigeons. Another way you can look at it is with this kind of graph idea here where you line up the pigeons on the left, line up the pigeonholes on the right, and then send arrows assigning each pigeon to its hole. And there is one hole that must contain at least two pigeons. They can't all go into separate holes because there's not enough holes, essentially. So you can think of uh, the pigeonhole principle, essentially, if you think about this last image, as a function. So a pigeonhole principle, you can think of it as being a function. It's, it says a function from, these are finite sets from uh, one finite set. And what's important is the, the set on the right has, a, has fewer elements in it. So a function from one finite set to a smaller finite set. cannot be one to one. So remember one to one, it's a, this is probably something you learned back in college algebra, but basically um, what, what, what do we mean by one to one here? There must be at least two elements in the domain that have the same image in the codomain. So if we look back up here, there were two elements from the left. So maybe I'll circle them here. This was pigeon one and pigeon four. There were two elements in the domain so that when I followed the arrows of the function, they ended up in the same uh, position. So that's the formal statement of the pigeonhole uh, principle.